Okay, so here's the thing. I'm a really shit YouTuber. <laughs> YouTuber. And I forgot to do an intro and an outro for this video. Um, so here's the intro. Um, I did a look. It's inspired by Mamma Mia 2. Um, I hope you like it. I went to see it the other day and I thought, you know what, I like this so much, it's such a good film, that um, I thought it would be really cool to do something inspired by it, to try, kind of get my YouTube channel a little, uh, a little bit back on track again. Um, so yeah, here's the video. If you want to see how I did the makeup I'm wearing right now, continue to watch. So as you can see, I've done one eye already. It did go a bit wrong because I decided to put a false eyelash on and then took it off because I decided that I didn't want to wear false eyelashes with this look. So that's why the scar is really, really clumpy and gross. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the other eye. So I'm just gonna prime my eyelids quickly and cut out that crease. So to do this, I'm using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Zero Extra Fair, obviously. Put it up there and then I'm going to use a little flat concealer brush to just carve my eyebrow out. Like so. And then I'm going to pop some concealer on the lid. pretty much all over everywhere. And then I'm using this brush here, which is the Morphe E14. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it. It's the Morphe E14 brush, and we're just gonna pat on the concealer. Pat the concealer into the lid. And then just to get rid of any other harsh lines that are still there, we're just going to go in with a beauty blender and just kind of re-blend everything. Like so. So now I'm going to get a piece of tape and just pop that on. Okay, so we're going to go for a blending technique, um, which is where you put on the darkest colour first with this look. Um, lots and lots of makeup artists that I follow on Instagram do this um, so yeah we're gonna go for that today gonna do it so I'm taking the Morphe R41 brush which is just like a little bullet crease brush and I'm gonna go in with this color here from the sleek uh, ultra mats v1 palette we're also gonna mix in a touch of Dahlia from the Juvia's Place masquerade palette with that as well but the initial kind of cut line I'm gonna draw out with the sleek matte colour first. So I'm going to start in the inner corner and I'm just going to draw it out like so. So that's the first thing we're going to do and then I'm going to mix in a touch of Dahlia as well and go over that line. And I'm just going backwards and forwards over the top just to kind of diffuse it out but also not completely. Like so. So then when we've got that colour laid down we're going to go in with a smaller um, tapered crease brush and this is the Nancy Blending Eyeshadow Brush and I'm going to take a mixture of this turquoisey, ooh, this turquoisey colour from the same Sleek palette and we're going to go in with Zola which is this light blue colour from the Juvia's Place palette as well. So I'm going to mix those two together um, very, very lightly and begin blending out this. I bashed my head on something the other day at work and this, put, this bit of my eye, this like knobbly bit right here is really, really sore. <laughs> it's really bruised. It's really hurting to blend over the top of it. So anyway, while I'm doing this, thoughts on Mamma Mia 2, please. 
So I'm going to go in with a bit of a bigger blending brush now and just blend out um, with no extra product. This is the Morphe E17. I thought it was brilliant, to be honest. Um, I didn't think it was as good as the first one, but then, like, in all honesty, was it going to be as good as the first one? I don't think anyone was expecting it to be. Um, I thought it was amazing, personally. I think all of the cast were just incredible. Oh my god, though, young Bill. Uh, I'll have a piece of you, please. For sure. Josh Dylan is gorgeous. And they just, they casted the young versions of the boys so well. Like, Hugh Skinner was just perfect for the role. It was amazing, I thought. The casting was on point. Um, the fashion, oh my god, the costuming was incredible. I was absolutely blown away. That scene where Lily James is wearing, like, the blue like bralette thing and the orange trousers I thought that was such a look I was so into it I was just like living I mean Lily James is just gorgeous anyway obviously so yeah I was absolutely blown away by it I thought it was so good and then obviously Cher was incredible in it I don't really listen to much of Cher's music but like I think she's such an icon that yeah I was so so blown away I thought it was just amazing. But still not as good as the first one. I just don't think anything could top the original. It, like, it's just such an iconic film anyway, to be honest with you. Like, wow, you know? So all I'm doing now is just going backwards and forwards between those colours just until I get the intensity and the blend that I want. And of course Amanda Seyfried was just amazing because she's amazing in everything she does, like God that girl is talented. She is just insane. And yeah, I was just I don't know, I was just blown away by the whole thing. I thought it was amazing. I think it was it was much more like produced, it was much more showy than the first one was. So I'm gonna now cut the crease out. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my collection, lasting perfection concealer on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna take the same brush, the same kind of small flat brush that we used to carve out the eyebrow and I'm going to use that to cut the crease as well. One thing I've learned with doing cut creases is just not to rush it. Just take it really, really slowly. And also don't put too much product on because then you'll really struggle blending it out. Okay, so when the crease is all cut out, I'm going to just go back in with that brush that we used for the concealer in the first place and just kind of Pat it over just to make sure it's all kind of like so. Okay, so now we get to add on all the colours. So we're going to pop her away for a sec, we don't need her. And we are first of all going to go in with the Morphe 3502 palette that I've nicked from my little sister. Um, and we're going to go in with a flat brush and this shade here which is just a sort of bright metallic red colour. And we're kind of wanting to create like a halo eye effect for this. Oh, shifting around. So we're going to go in with another flat synthetic brush. And just get that on the brush. And kind of just pack it like on here. Obviously we are doing the cut, double cut crease look. But you don't have to go for that straight away. It's okay to be a bit messy at first with this. I'm going to use packing motions it, um, just to get the pe pigment. Ugh, can't talk. Pigment um, out straight away. And then I'm going to go in and do the same on the inner corner with that colour. Like so. 
And then we're going to go in with the metallic orange colour, which is right here on the same brush. And we're actually going to go over the red that we've already placed down with that and just bring it further in as well. So we're going to start here. and then bring it back over the red. Just to ensure it's all blended together and pigmented and beautiful. And then for the space that we've left in the middle, we are gonna go in with a bright gold color and I'm using 24k I think it's called from the Huda Beauty rose gold palette on the same brush so we're using the same brush for all of these colors um, I don't know you could use different brushes if you wanted to but it also works for the same one like so I'm gonna go back in again with a little bit of it just and then I'm gonna go back in a little bit with the orange that we used before just to blend it out a tiny bit to go back over the red and then I am going to use a little bit of the red again just on the outer corner just so we get that nice kind of gradient effect going on there like so so that is the um, eyeshadow done so now we are going to go in and do that double cut crease we have kind of left a bit of the space anyway as you can see but I'm going to go in with the excess concealer I've left on my hand and an even smaller um, flat brush which is the Real Techniques detail brush it's all rubbed off so I can't tell you exactly what it is and we're just going to trace out very very lightly that cut crease space I think I'm going to go completely off camera for this, so let me just swivel it a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we are putting a glitter liner over the top of it. Um, which I'm going to do now. So I'm going to take the Primark Beauty Glitter Gaze Liquid Liner um, and it's just a sort of like silvery metallic eyeliner and I'm just going to trace out right where we put that concealer. Like so. And now we do need to wait for that to dry because these transfer these liners transfer so freaking easily. Is my camera actually going to focus anytime soon? I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna move on. We're gonna. We're gonna go with it, and we're gonna say that it's it's done. Okay. So, where's that? Oh my god! Why do I just put palettes everywhere? So we're gonna go in and highlight the brow bone and inner corner now. So for the brow bone, I'm going to take. Um, this white colour and I'm going to use that in the inner corner actually as well so 